Good morning, everybody. It's bright and early. In fact, it is 4 a.m. right now. We are just about to head out to Fitbody Boot Camp for work, uh, but I am prepping up my breakfast right now. What we got going on this morning in here, I have a uh, serving of frozen berry medley mix mixed with 80 grams of oatmeal. And then right in here, I have a serving of PP2 as well as PE Science Snickerdoodle whey protein that I will mix right in with this. I typically will have my oatmeal right before my workout, but even earlier on in the shift, um, what I will be having is this right here. What this is a mixture of, we have 100 grams of egg whites, three whole eggs in here. We got 30 grams of mushrooms, 30 grams of red onions, and a big um, handful of spinach just mixed all in here. No, it's not cooked or anything just yet, uh, but I got it in a nice sealable lid. I'm not gonna throw this in my backpack. So I'll cook this up and then after that, I got right now 100 grams of avocado. So this right here, definitely my higher fat and high protein meal, low carb right here. Uh, I usually kick my morning off with this and then when I start to get done with my shift, and my workout is about to come up, that's when I wanna start introducing some carbs into my system. And that's when I'll have my 80 grams of oats, when I'll have my serving of frozen berry medley, that scoop away protein, and then that PB2 powder in there too. And typically, what I'll have around that time is also a pre-workout with some creatine, so zero calories there, mainly getting my carbohydrate sources now from the oatmeal and the fruit right before, uh, two different types of Carbohydrates there too, it's a fast and slow digesting, a simple and a complex being the complex is the oatmeal and then the simple is the fruit, both two very healthy options. And before I forget, because it's early in the morning, um, I typically will have a coffee, but today because I need a little extra juice, I'm gonna have one of those white monsters I picked up the other day. But typically if I have a coffee, it will have two servings or two tablespoons of French vanilla sugar-free creamer in there too. So only 30 calories right there. And again, my macros and calories will be displayed on the screen a little bit further, but we have to calculate the calories when I get off work today. So I know that these will stay in the ballpark of my caloric range. And then at the end of the day, we'll round it up and then we'll see what all of the meals are that equal my calorie and macronutrient goal. So typically I have four meals a day. All of them are going to be high in protein, but two of them are going to be higher in fat, lower in carb. And then the other two are going to be higher in carb and lower in fat. And typically the meals that are higher in carb, lower in fat will be before and after my workouts. And then the ones that are higher in fat, lower in carbs, will be at the other portions of the day too. And that's just because carbohydrate is the main macronutrient that we use for energy, both before our workouts and to revive our body and start that rebuilding process right after our workouts. So let's get on with this day, everybody. Catch you soon after sessions. Oh yeah, and it's a white monster kind of morning too. Hey, hey, everybody, just got done with sessions for the morning at Fitbody Boot Camp, and we also had Fitbody Forever, which is the 55 and up plus club. So just got done coaching that for the morning uh, and just got done having my protein oatmeal that I showed you guys earlier. So next up, we're gonna go hit the gym and I'm gonna have myself a pre-workout right here. Inside this is Insane Labs, uh, lower dosage uh, scoop of pre-workout here. So it's not a full scoop. Um, I don't always do a full scoop only when I really need it, which it probably looks bad having a monster energy drink before this clip. <laughs> and then about six hours later going into this, um, again, there was some time between this clip and the last clip. So I'm not doing back to back crazy energy drinks. And just for the record too, if you guys are curious how much caffeine I typically intake and maybe what you should be about, uh, somewhere around 400 milligrams max per day. So that's usually what I try and end up around or actually a lot of days I don't even make it to that point. But if I don't get enough sleep, which unfortunately I did not last night, sometimes I need a little bit of an extra kick, especially before my session, because it's important when you're going into a caloric deficit to maintain your strength. And if you're tired, you might not feel like pushing and you might not have that oomph in the gym. And sometimes you need that oomph in the gym because that's what's going to keep 
your strength up and your muscle mass on your body instead of your body turning towards muscle mass when you're in a caloric deficit. So, uh, also, side note, I'm just gonna make the announcement right here, right now, everybody. I didn't get the best of sleep last night, uh, basically because the past three days of uploading daily vlogs has been absolutely insane. Uh, it's something that I've been wanting to try and wanting to do for a long period of time, but I gotta be honest with you guys, I'm throwing in the white flag already. I did three days of daily uploads on YouTube, and to be honest, uh, getting everything done that needs to be done with this cut, my exercise, my nutrition, getting good sleep and pushing that water, and on top of that too, daily vlogging every single day, and working full time here at Fit Body Bootcamp. Let me just tell you guys, uh, you might not edit videos and shoot videos, but let me tell you, it is very difficult. Basically, the only routine that was working best for me to be able to do this was shoot the video during the day, edit at 5 a.m. in the morning, and hopefully get that video squeaked out before 9 a.m. so that I can start shooting the video for the next day to be edited at 5 a.m. and scheduled to be po published a little bit later on in the day. Uh, you guys could probably hear already, it's a lot. So I'm not gonna upload daily YouTube videos, unfortunately, here anymore for the Summer Sizzle series. However, I'm still going to challenge myself and go every other day. That's still a lot of videos, but it's also half the amount of videos too. I, I actually get one day that's dedicated to shooting now and one day that's dedicated to editing and posting. So I was just worried also that the quality of the videos would go down if I started posting and trying to abide by that crazy posting routine. So I want my videos to stay top notch for you guys. I want them to be entertaining. I want them to be educational. And yeah, so no more daily, but we're gonna go every other day and we're gonna keep that rolling for as long as I can. And that's gonna be my new challenge, my new goal. So with all of that being said, everybody, we're gonna slam this pre-workout down right now. We're gonna go hit an upper body pull session. Life is what you make it, I feel like I'm lazy I can't see a way out, I've been stacking face down Off canvases I painted, I just spent the rain day on drip I can't afford, but that's the price I pay For the memories I'm making, I've been going places I've been shaking hands for a chance to really make it This life is so abrasive, that's so why I almost gave it All this shit that I'm laying, it's only the foundation I've been going crazy That was a solid upper body pull day right there. I've been really hovering between the six to 12 rep range lately, and I've been really enjoying it going uh, with really good focus when I'm in that 
8 to 10 or even 10 to 12. Uh, a lot of mind muscle connection and then kind of working my way up. Got some build up sets going to tough 6 to 8 reps. Uh, so, and sometimes with the compound movements, of course, I've been going a little bit lower to really challenge the strength. But uh, yeah, lately I've been really enjoying the high rep range at 6 to 12. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to sit down and download the FitBody Nutrition app because today starts tracking day number one. So we're going to run through this right now and quickly set up my calories and my macronutrients to start out this cut here. So this morning I weighed directly uh, 173 pounds. So we're going to click done there. After that, I am 5'10". Then... I'm gonna use my in-body scan. So again, my in-body on uh, episode one where I did my initial weigh-in said 20 pounds of, or excuse me, 20% body fat right on the dot. So 20% right here, got done. My goal right now is to lose body fat. And then the rate that I want to do is 1.5. So 1.5, I'm gonna try and get that sweet spot here, and this is gonna all depend and all dictate what my calories are. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. This is it not gonna allow me to go right on? <laughs> 1.49 it is. Continue. All right, so what is my target weight? Uh, when I got done with 75 heart last year, and I was at 9.9% body fat. I was <laughs> quite light. I was 150 pounds right on the dot. And so with me taking into consideration the muscle that I have gained, I am thinking my end weight is gonna be right around 155, 157. Um, I think it's gonna be about 155 though, because I do wanna actually shoot for that eight to 10. So I'm gonna go 155 here. How active is your lifestyle? Not sedentary, not light, not even moderate. Very active, we're starting to get there. So uh, something I want to talk about down below, it says I walk and am active most of the day. Uh, and then the next one, my job consists of picking up or doing heavy labor. And that's quite true, um, my job, at Fit Body Bootcamp, I'm typically there for six hours and we are running around all the time, always on my feet, never sitting down actually, and lifting up heavy weights and demoing a lot of things. So you wanna really make sure that these are spot on. And this is just my lifestyle. So I walk and am active most of the days or my job consists of picking things up or doing heavy labor. I'm gonna go with that everybody. So we're gonna go intense. Um, and I typically say go a little bit lighter, but my days are pretty, pretty active. Um, and just for an example, uh, one of our coaches, he wears a Fitbit and he says, typically he ranges between 15,000 steps on average in a block. So a single block, maybe even, actually I think it's even more. Um, how often and intensely do you exercise? Don't want to exercise, light activity, moderate. So I do aerobic or weight training most days of the week. Still more than that, I'm lifting six days a week and I'm doing cardio every single day for 30 to 45 minutes. So very active. I do aerobic or intense weight training virtually every day. That's also true. Or extreme athlete. Training is a lifestyle. It takes up much of my day and is very intense. So I'm not gonna go with extreme athlete. This is gonna be more so tailored towards people who are doing like Ironman training and marathon training and all of that. And I'm definitely not doing that. My training at the gym is very intense. It typically is around an hour to an hour and a half on average. And I'm doing six days a week of lifting and I'm also walking, so that's lower intensity, 30 minutes to 45 minutes a day. So I do aerobic or intense weight training virtually every day. I'm gonna go with this one. The next one is, I think, a little bit of a stretch and then also paired with my lifestyle one being very high. I definitely don't want this to set my calories too, too high. So we're gonna click continue there. What best describes your experience with tracking macros? I'm definitely past the beginner. Let's see what intermediate has to say though. 
I've got a decent understanding of flexible dieting and I'm fairly comfortable with the concept of tracking macros. Yes, that's true. Uh, let's see what advanced is though. I'm very comfortable with macro tracking and I've got a good understanding of flexible dieting. I feel confident in saying I feel advanced with tracking. So we're gonna go with that. Uh, do you have any food restrictions? None. Got that selected, continue. Do you prefer carbs or fats? We got a lot of carbs, more carbs than fat, balance between more fats and carbs or fatty foods. Um, I typically like a good balance. I think we're just gonna go right there, smack dab in the middle. What's my full name? Alan Wondrick. There we go. My date of birth. Here we go, everybody. You ready? 04, 06, 20. <laughs> nope, not 20. <laughs> Going back a little bit more. 1994. So 1994. Birthday in two days. I'm going to be 29. That's crazy. Advice. I understand. All right. We're calculating. Here we go. Drum roll. 169 protein, 276 carbohydrates, 85 fat intake, and we're starting at 2,545 calories. That's with 1.5 pounds estimated weekly loss. <laughs> so it finally popped up to that 1.5. And so it estimated 13 weeks until my target weight. So that takes me right around that 90 day streak so right in there all right next up after my lift i typically like to have a high protein and low fat and also high carb meal too that's going to help refill my glycogen stores after i broke down a lot of glycogen or carbohydrates basically inside of my muscles during that intense upper body pull day and so again when you do that you're what are you doing <laughs> you got something to say sir <laughs> so anyways guys what we're gonna whip up we're gonna have some jasmine rice we're going to have some we might be going for a walk here very soon too you need to go for a walk look at this face so you need to go for a walk I'm gonna go here in a moment <laughs> so anyways before I was rudely interrupted <laughs> lunch is served right here again we got two cups of milk right here we got a all tall bowl of chicken rice mixed vegetables and then mixed in with that too we got greek yogurt soy sauce and sriracha and there's many different ways you can use greek yogurt with things too a lot of times i'll either go this route or i will do greek yogurt some salsa in there and mix that in with some beans and corn and make more like a mexican route and also maybe some lettuce in there too uh, so it's very versatile again both Greek yogurt, and of course, always chicken and rice. So you gotta find what meals make you happy and then make sure you mix them up, change them up as you feel. All right, everybody, dinner is served. So what we got going on here, we have uh, 136 grams of quinoa. I believe I said it wrong in my last video. So quinoa, and then we got some broccoli right dead center. And then next up too, we got something that I'm very excited to start incorporating in on my meal plan, and that is some Atlantic salmon. So for dinner right here, uh, moderate in carbohydrates, quinoa is actually not too, too high as white jasmine rice, uh, and loaded with fiber, same thing with the broccoli here too, uh, really volumizes the meal here. And then the salmon filet here has a good amount of protein too, but it's also a little bit higher in fat. So again, a lot of my meals that I have uh, a higher fat protein source. Typically, I will find a carbohydrate source that's a little bit lower than with those meals. All right, guys, so now we're at dinner. And again, today is my first day using the app here for the first time. And so it's really nice. I can add some tweaks to it. I do prefer my protein to be a little bit more than one gram per pound of my body weight when I'm cutting. And so I'm going to set my protein up a little bit higher. Um, and I also noticed that with my food options that I went shopping for, it's going to match better with that too. Now that I'm here at dinner, I just started to notice that. So I'm gonna set uh, my desired protein goal to 190. And then what that's gonna put me at for carbs and fats is now 239 and 82 grams of fat. Um, now I am going to go in and adjust 
those carbs and fats just a little bit to meet my goal. I noticed that I have a little bit more carbohydrates than I do fats. So I'm gonna go to this dial and I'm going to tweak it. You'll see that protein stays the same. I'm gonna tweak it right to about here. Carbs 250, fat 77 grams. I'm gonna update that. And then I have my whole day tracked out already. So basically I'm gonna compare this and use these meals that I'm setting up today as my base 80 meals. And this will also be my main base 80 macronutrient range as you're seeing right here. So now what we have, we have a protein goal on the left wheel, all in green right here, uh, 190 grams of protein. 252 grams of carbs, so that's up by two, which isn't too, too bad. And then also for fat, we're at 78 grams of fat. So again, I am two grams of carbohydrates over and one gram of fat over. I'm not gonna sweat it. I'm not gonna go crazy over it and adjust all of my things. Again, it is what it is, you gotta roll with it. And I know that here next week even, or maybe two weeks from now, it's going to slowly start reducing my calories specifically from carbohydrates and fats. So I'm gonna have to make tweaks all along. And really how I make those tweaks is I just have a little bit less oatmeal. I have a little bit less rice or a little bit less quinoa in my diet. And that right there is usually a simple fix or if I need a little bit less fat, I'll turn towards that 100 grams of avocado that I have, as you'll see right here. Um, I'll turn towards that and just reduce that from 100 grams to say maybe 80 grams, and that will allow me to then hit my fat goal. So really, again, you gotta eat the foods that you like, and then as you go further and further into the cut, you gotta make those little tweaks. So make sure, again, you can see right here that my food options are very whole food, um, following the 80-20 for sure. Honestly, it might even be 90-10, which I'm very proud of. You'll see that all of these food options right here are very whole foods until we get to my little nighttime snack. So the end of the night, I love having something crunchy. So I love popcorn. It's very voluminous, it's very crunchy, and then I'll oftentimes spray a little bit of Pam butter spray on top of that, and then sprinkle some of that white cheddar seasoning. I'll get it out for you guys to see, actually. So we're talking these guys right here. It's like a Pam butter spray, zero calories, obviously within limits, and then we got this white cheddar seasoning, which has very has no calories in it either. So really I just sprinkle that on top of my popcorn and then you'll also see that I have a diet root beer and that's a diet so zero calories and also no caffeine right before bed. And uh, yeah guys, that's my macronutrient split right there. Again, hitting those calories spot on at the end of the day, every single day, every single week and making those little adjustments as I'm gonna be doing my check-ins each week here on the app, which check-ins basically, if I'm checking in on Monday, the next Monday I'll, I will add my new weight that my body has changed to, my new body weight in pounds. And basically this thing has such a smart algorithm in it that it will make that shift in my calories and macronutrients already for me. Um, again, which last year in 75 hard, I made my own adjustments. Basically what I did was I started at 2,400 calories and then every single week I reduced 25 calories and bumped up my grams of protein by one each time. So that right there was, um, oh, that's awesome. I just got a heart from Bedros Koulian. And <laughs> the guy that I actually just mentioned um, the other day, I commented on one of his videos and I see he just hearted that. That's pretty dang awesome original founder of Fit Body Bootcamp just liked one of my things on YouTube. That's that's kind of crazy, guys. <laughs> well, anyways, um, next up, after having dinner, we are going to end the night right here with some popcorn. And like I said, at a and w and I think we're gonna watch a little bit of Blacklist to end the night again. I'm still on that Blacklist kick. 
I currently am just getting into season eight. Very sad guys that the season is coming to an end. So I think you guys know what popcorn looks like after it's popped. And then I think you also know what some pop in a glass looks like. So that's what I'm gonna have next while I kick back here on the couch and chill out with Mr. Scout to end the night. <laughs> As you can see, he and myself are very tired. We're still kind of recuperating after going daily with YouTube here for a couple days. Um, but that couple days was plenty for me. So now again, we're shifting that white flag with the daily, but we are still going to challenge ourselves and go every other day. If you guys enjoy these videos, please share the love by hitting that like button down at the bottom of this video. And then also make sure that you hit that subscribe button. If you want some more, you can do that by clicking right here. So smash that subscribe button. And then last up, if you did not see my last video where I go grocery shopping for all the foods that I prepped in this video today, you get to check that out right here. And then in that one, I also go over what it is to truly have 80-20 balance in your diet. So don't miss out on that one, everybody. I will see you in the next video.